guys, it's me, Mayan. How are you guys doing? So today I'm gonna take you guys behind the scene with me and show you guys my home studio. And I'm also gonna show you guys how I record my videos. So if you guys enjoy this, please keep on watching and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more random stuff like this. So let's go. So in order to show you all of this setup, I'm gonna have to switch to my phone. And let's see, here we go. Okay, so this is my little setup. Okay, so please don't mind what's in the bag. Um, here I have a three-point lighting with a ring light in the middle and a camera. This is a Canon DSLR, and which is linked to this Microsoft Surface. So basically I can control everything on here. You can like, this is basically touch screen. So it's really easy for me to control everything on here. For example, I'm recording right now and I'm gonna stop recording. That is so easy. I can this act as my monitor and which it helped me so much. And like, see, now it's recording. So in videos, you gotta need a lot of lights, like a lot. These two huge light box, I got it from Amazon and I can link it down below in the description box. This ring light is my baby. Like my brother got it for me and it's so convenient because you can adjust the brightness of it. Like it turned out really bright if you put it on high. And it's also come with like um, the yellow filter. So, but I don't, I personally don't really like the yellow filter. So I use the white one. So basically it's not much, but it's enough for me to make my videos. Okay, and here is a paper background with like a um, roller right there for me to pull it up and down. No, I use all of the paper already, but anyway. <laughs> all right, now I'm using the three point lighting. Personally for me, it's good enough, but Honestly, I want more lights because I'm just that extra, you know. I want the hair light, I want two more lights on the side. So basically, it's gonna be like a six point light. I really want more lights, but probably I'm gonna move soon and I don't want to have like a lot of stuff, you know. So if I settle down later on, hopefully this year, or something like that. Um, I'm gonna get more light. <laughs> and we're back with this camera. So at home, if I record videos, I usually record on this camera, which is a Canon DSLR. And for outside videos, like vlogging and stuff, I use this Canon G7X Mark II. And honestly, I love this one because it's so convenient. I don't know how many times I said this already, but yeah, it's good. Um, here I have a touch screen. Or whenever I go outside, I use this mini tripod, which is like, it's really easy to hold on to. Okay, let me just turn this off. Okay, so this tripod is really easy for me to grab onto and walk around with it. I mean, if I just want to put it down, I'm just like this and talk to it. However, if I'm at home and I have to record a two-point views videos, I will use this camera and the Canon DSLR together. But I need a bigger tripod 
a for this camera so this one i also got it from amazon and it's like 14 dollars something like that it's really cheap so if you guys want to get this i'm gonna put the link down below this one i'm using right now is just a mini tripod so i can put it on the table it also come with this huge thing like you see in all of the professional podcaster they have this and with this so you can filter out the sound i personally like this more but this table right now honestly it's not gonna allow this right here to climb onto the table that's why i have to use this mini tripod but if i have like a more suitable table i would definitely use this because honestly just say it's look more professional and it have this i like this <laughs> okay and another thing is this little tripod right here let's have a place for your phone and if you don't want to use your phone you can take this out and you can put a camera on this one it has like a led light right here so it's very convenient for you when you go outside at night and you're gonna have like lights right on to your face this grip right here is very easy for me to hold on and just talk to the camera or if you don't want to hold it like that you can pull it out and put it down like this and then I'll keep talking okay, let me just turn off this light Ugh. Okay. okay let's just put this aside and I want to show you guys this one this one is my oldest equipment ever in this studio because back then I didn't even have a camera so I used this for my phone you know this light this clamp you can just clamp it onto like anywhere like table chair whatever you know this is not plugged in right now but anyway this light it's come with three color mode and you can adjust the brightness of this so it's very convenient i got this for like 20 dollars on amazon i can put the link down below in the description box for you if you want it this is like the first thing that i got in the studio thing like before i don't have anything i don't have the lights i don't have a camera i don't have a microphone like i didn't have anything i just have my phone like the old phone or not even this new one the old phone i had which is the uh, 7 plus iPhone and that uh, yeah I started with that <laughs> hello it's me Coco how are you doing Mwah! I really hope that this video inspired you to build your own studio at home you know we all started from somewhere and please don't look at my studio and say oh she has this she has that mm, no we all started from somewhere <laughs> you just have to start if you have any question about the equipment please leave it in the comment section down below and if you guys enjoy this please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see random stuff like this i'll see you guys next time <laughs>